It was around 3 a.m. that Jason Camille says he was alerted to cries of fire. Five of them occupied the home, including his girlfriend and daughter. Coming out the morning about 3 o'clock, and they'll get a, that, that sounding, that fire, fire, fire. So, like, you know, you know they think that, okay, that, that, that your, your house, oh, you know, yeah. like, or you could think that across the streets, the neighbors or something. But when I opened the windows, that's that when reality hit, like, yay. That for real, you know, we have to start doing something. The fire broke at the front door on the veranda of the Sanchez family home on Rivero Street. The eldest son received burns to the back and leg, and those who were inside had to jump from the burning elevated structure to the ground to escape the inferno. Dulce Sanchez believes that the fire was deliberately set. When my oldest son came knocking on the door, um, telling me that there is fire on the house, um, I asked him if he was okay. Um, he got scart on his back and he said that um, the three person that was in there need to they had to jump from the top to the bottom um, thank god myself and my daughter-in-law was not in there because she is pregnant so where exactly did the fire start it started from the door from the door the entrance of um and the veranda that sounds like somebody said that yes there. yes yes the end of last year, I just renovated this house. Everything in there, um, appliances, um, veranda, in, inside everything. I just borrowed money to renovate it, and it's all, it all went down in the blink of an eye. Fortunately for Camille and his family, no one was injured. He says that he was only able to save a few items of clothing and important documents, but everything else was lost in the fire, destroyed by the blaze or water damaged. Me being me, I, I'm still in our state of shock coming out awake, you know, I wake up out of sleep and everything. So I may have like that first 30 seconds, I'm just confused, yeah. lost, no know how to feel, what to do. And when I see that fire start touch your house, your ceiling, that that when, you know, I start. My first instinct, I'm with my kids, you know, I had my nephew, the sleepover and everything. And first thing I forget me out. And my personal next thing, I'm mean, like get all documents, my daughter's stuff. Like basically, my daughter made up on my mind. I didn't remember my own stuff, my keys, my wallet, my phone, all that perish. Having lost everything, both families are asking for assistance to rebuild. Man, recovery. As I said, I start over. You know, you can't really say yeah. recover. You know, for something like this, but to go start new. You know, How can people help if they choose um, any, any, Anything, you know, anything at this point would, would be accepted, you know. We can't turn down nothing at this time. Yeah. When you don't have nothing, you know, you yeah. can't turn back nothing in it. We're the same way too. So anybody where, you know, anything where I don't feel like we were, any of the families would have could have used, we are, you know, okay. personally accept. It is, it is very, um, it's hard, you know, um, losing something that, that you work hard for. You know, so um, all we can do right now is just ask for assistance. I mean, nothing else, you know. Um, we're just waiting for the report from the fire department so that we can go around and see what we can do because we lost everything, everything, you know. We have nothing. Um, my daughter and I is pregnant, baby clothes that we were trying to get, that everything. Burnt as well. Yes. Despite the loss, the families commend the response of the National Fire Service. If we made a blowing on a different angle, you know, we might have a better chance. Because the fire service now did fairly good. Yeah. You know, from, from me waking up and, and actually trying to solve what we could. Then guys, we done one had to run out, then they run in. Yeah. You know, and, and I, I must commend the Belize Fire Service. Then, then, then guys, they go above and beyond. Like, I could tell off my personal experience, you know, easy. And then guys make an effort for try where they come do for try at least save. Both houses were not insured and the estimated loss is unknown. Dwayne Moody for News 5.